Last time on Shimshon Needs Jerusalem, a YouTube series. I claim this is the best falafel in Israel. The main special thing about them is they do it coarse and they make it green falafel, which means it's got cilantro and parsley and lots of other things. Full of flavor and it's a recipe from the grandmother, 95 years old, Aisha. So I'd say fantastic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rose, and I'm here today at the Ramada Hotel in Jerusalem. It's one of the big hotels at the entrance to the city. I'm here tonight with Jerusalem's favorite viral food influencer, Shimshon Lichinsky. We're checking out tonight what is the true story about the Jerusalem soup wars. Two hotels in the city, the Ramada Hotel and the Inbar Hotel, are running simultaneous competing soup festivals. Which is better? Shimshon's going to give us the answer. <laughs> Shimshan Leshinsky. We're at the Ramada Hotel in Jerusalem. And here we are. Let's see how the soups are tonight. We've had them all. With, they're delicious. They're interesting. The chestnut mushroom soup. This, I have to say, was amazing. Full of flavor, full of color. I enjoyed it. Then we had the pumpkin squash soup. I would say it had a bit of a kick to it. It was a bit of ginger in there as well. That was quite nice. Come and have a closer look inside what we've got here. And then then we went, we tried the split pea soup here. Um, they served it actually with couscous. The couscous is finished now. It had split peas and rice. It has a lot of good things in here. That was a, a very wholesome soup. I think that was great. Then they had a vegetarian vegetable soup here. Um, this was also possible with couscous. That was just a very ordinary soup. I really can't go overboard on this one. It's a nice one, but it's not the best. And this one I didn't even have. My friends had it. Um, it was a very ordinary um, onion soup nothing too exciting about um, it may even have a, it may have a bit of wine in it and then come this way and see all the things that we get with it so we've got all these different things nice breads the breads were crusty with some butter we have all these things this was interesting I don't know if you've ever seen before pink trina that was a very interesting idea it's got a bit of beetroot in it so we had a lot of interesting things here and the whole deal is 65 shekels which is twenty dollars which is a good deal we're scanning without looking at people there's two parts of the the main lobby here there's the soup festival and there's the shidduch matchmaking on the other side with about 15 couples meeting um, coyly talking to each other and we've got some intense dating going on in the religious community and it's thursday night is a big night for that so this hotel the ramada hotel a lot's going on here we're at the soup festival shimon is the chief chef of the soups not what? only the soups no, no. Soup. okay no. shimon we have to ask you the first thing what is the secret of a good soup? People really need to know. Nice seasoning, a lot of salt. Salt? Salt. Oh, salt, okay. Yeah. If you put your salt, you've got a beautiful uh, soup. And how long has this soup festival been going on at the Ramada Hotel? How many years? I think we started to, uh, when I came here at uh, 2011, it was already running. Okay, so it's, it's a tradition. So it was, yeah, it is a tradition, much longer than many other places. And I just want to say, I want to go through the soups very quickly. The pumpkin soup, I thought it was fantastic. It had a bit of ginger in it, is that right? It had something spicy. A little spicy. bit of ginger and coconut. Yeah, so that sounded like a bit of the Indian style. That was great. Yeah. The mushroom one, that was interesting. What was with the chestnuts? The mushroom chestnuts. Mushroom chestnuts. That was yeah. great. It seemed like Shimshan and Shimon were getting on great. But then Shimshan dropped a bombshell. The rest of them, nothing interesting for me. The onion soup, it sounded a very boring soup. It Is wasn't, it? Yeah, it was like it had a lot of, it tasted to me like it had chicken soup powder in it. And it didn't really have chicken the soup. Clearly taken aback by Shimshon's verdict that the onion soup was boring and contained soup powder, Chef Shimon insisted that the two try it one more time. Yeah. Really? That's what it, that's what it tasted to me. I could be Yeah, wrong. I understand. I'd yeah. like to taste it with no, you. No, it's okay. Again. That, uh, and uh, so that I found one a bit boring, and I found oh, the other bit. What? Really? This, yeah, this is our flashy. signature. So you know what? I'm going to go now with you and yeah. have some more because I didn't taste Absolutely. it. Absolutely. They tasted it. My friends. Can ah, I trust my friends ah, or can I not trust my friends? That Daniel Rosehill okay. and that other guy uh, Moses. Can I trust them or not? You tell me. We'll find I, out I, now. I, I trust what I see and what I taste. I didn't taste it. Now I'm going to taste it with you. Let's, let's, let's do the action. It. Let's. Okay, the onion test now.
Shimshon's attempts to defuse the tension in the room seem to have worked for now. The two set off to try the infamous onion soup. One for you, one for me. No, uh, he's We're not gonna both taste it. going to taste it. Oh, okay. The Romano okay. Hotel's credibility is raising is on this. Just to yeah. taste? Yeah, yeah. A little bit of uh, okay. cheese. I, does it have any wine in it? Yeah, I'll have a bit it of cheese. Is. It. It's got some wine Contain, in it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. White wine. A lot of white wine. Okay, we'll taste this. This is very and we'll keep traditional. Justice, uh, justice to the. Uh, Onion soup, there's been nasty things said about it at our table. After Chef Shimon worked his charm on the food influencer, Shimshon suddenly seemed to have a change of heart. Mm. Hot. It, it's good. No, it's good. Um, people at my table, I don't think I'll be able to hang out with them anymore. I found it excellent. It's got some red wine in it. It is. Having tried the soup, Shimshon decides to offer a heartfelt apology to the chef. Uh, Apologize to Shimon and the Ramada Hotel. The soup is delicious. A little bit too peppery, but maybe that's what a good soup needs a bit of pepper. Correct. It's got a bit of a kick to it. Correct. <laughs> Everybody should come to the Ramada Hotel, the soup festival. Having buttered up the soup man with some good old fashioned flattery, Shimshon even wings an invitation to the hotel kitchen. Guys, I've got an exclusive. Shimon has let us come into the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> will you come in with us or will you stay in the lobby? You decide. Okay. Ooh. Wow. This is going to be the wow. This is it. restaurant. Wow, I'm coming into the kitchen here. Shimshon desire. Come, Karim, no Shimshon. Here's Shimshon. Shimshon, but I need Shimshon. We've got two Shimshon. One, two. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to have to get my Shimshon t shirt in a minute. Not the Shimshon t shirt again. Now, here is our friend Moses. Come and do the video. Moses, look what's going on here. Celery soup. Celery soup, wow. Wow. Amazing. With a lot of wine. While Shimshon was busy getting the very enthusiastic staff to take a Shimshon style t shirt photo, we were getting ready to meet Shimshon's dining friend, Moses Newman, who's also a member of the Secret Jerusalem Facebook group. It's worth adding that Shimshon and Moses don't always see quite eye to eye about food. I want to thank the people who came to join me tonight. Daniel Rosehill, he always brings a lot of yeah, interesting comments, intelligence and charisma to the table. Thanks Shimshon! Uh, uh, could we say that we've become from foes, we've become friends, is that possible? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. we've made yeah, peace. Yeah. Shimshon yeah. has made peace with his number one critic. Uh, and uh, now we're on lo in line, now looking for a better future. Having turned around another soured relationship this evening, Shimshon and Moses decide it's time for a hug. Thank you very much. That was only slightly awkward, but the fun's not over yet. On his way out of the hotel, Shimshon runs into a group of fans from the Dominican Republic. Guess what? Shimshon has his t-shirt, which can mean only one thing. It's time for another selfie. Shimshon TV. Hi. How do you say we love you in uh, Spanish? Te amo. Te amo. Te amo. Te amo. They look awfully confused. Speaking of love, we hope you loved this video. And if you'd like to get more videos from me, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Dominican Republic. Wow. Yes. 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 Yes.